We are. We about to unleash. We about to give the truth to the old school, middle age. We about to unleash. Hey, family and friends, listen, let's get into it, right? So the question I keep being asked is, so are we voting for Trump? Let me just make the record clear. No, we are not voting for Trump. But let me help you understand what we are voting for. The principles that line up with the kingdom of God. Let me say this. We're going to talk this out and we're going to break it down some, right? So a big topic is abortion. Let's talk about that, right? So the big topic is being able to not tell a woman what to do with her body. Let me first say, I have been down that road, okay? But at the end of the day, the principles of God tells us that it was wrong, that it was a part of sin, that you are not supposed to be committing murder even all the way down to the womb. And let me give you a scripture. So the scripture actually talks about, it is Psalms 139, 13 through 16. Emphasizes the sanctity of life, stating that God knows each person even before they are born. So according to scripture, God says, I know that individual before they were even born. So they are human. They are life. Life is in the blood. So let's just get past that real quick. So we're arguing about abortions, right? And the truth of the matter is this. I got a video that talks about that most of the abortions that are taking place is because of the perversion that is going around in our world. It is because folks are truly having sex without protection. It is because folks are actually saying, hey, I love the act of sex. I don't want to put no condom on. I don't want to protect myself. I want to do it how I want to do it. And you know what? I can just go abort this baby once I get pregnant. So the real um, issue is not about somebody who's got rape or somebody who's has incest or if it's a life or death. If you do the statistics, over 300,000 abortions is taking place a year. And with that, 45% of the unintended abortions is saying the reason why they are doing it, it has nothing to do with rape. It has nothing to do with their life is being at stake. It has everything to do with their finances. It's not up to par. It has a lot to do with the fact the timing was wrong. I was just not ready to have a baby right now. Let's deal with real true facts. Let's not just deal with stuff that is based off of um, the politics of it. Because let me tell you something, Planned Parenthood alone is making over $1.6 billion and 50% of their abortion is the black baby. Let's be clear. And another large percent after black babies is Hispanic babies, okay? So what's happening here? And this is happening in very impoverished communities, very low income communities. So let's be clear about what's happening here. So are we voting for Trump? No, but are we voting for the things that the Republican party stands for and their policies that Trump just happened to be a representation of? That's what we're voting for. Kingdom principle, who has the kingdom principle? Who has the most valuable principles? Who is the one that's rocking with God's beliefs? So let me say this. I remember when 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 the White House called themselves putting the, the, the rainbow up, the rainbow colors, when they had just legalized gay marriages. That was totally, totally against God. So I remember when that happened, I was done with the Obama. I was done with that. I was like, really? We're going to take the house and put colors on it that was meant for a promise and make it pride? So I was totally against that as well. So now you got somebody that just came out the woodworks, came out the bed with what she does. I mean, she's like, listen, I'm all about the RuPaul situation. I'm all about hanging with, clapping with, gay, endorsing them, endorsing their agenda. No. So you ask us a question, like, really? Are we really rocking with Trump? No, we're rocking with the party that he represents that's saying no to that. We are tired of seeing naked people on the street talking about pride this, pride that, and we know the Bible says pride comes before fall. We know what the scripture tells us. We, do you want your kids to walk outside the house and seeing people walking around looking all weird and crazy, having no clothes on, being escorted by the police? Do y'all see what's happening in your schools? Do y'all see that the prayers is taken out of the school and, and church and the love of God is taken out of the schools and all these evil programs are coming in promoting sin? So you ask us, if you're making this about Trump, they fooled you. They got you. Got you. If you're making this about Trump, like the political parties and the media trying to do, and about Trump, Trump didn't get in the office because he needed the money. 
He didn't get in the office because he needed the influence either because he already had that. You better be careful of those who's trying to get in his office for influence and for money purposes. Trump is a little bit more down to earth. <laughs> He's more like you and I, all right, than anything. But are we voting for Trump? No, they all got faults. They all got faults and so do you and so do I. We are not voting for that. We are not voting for our human's policies. We're voting for the policies that serve the kingdom of God. So when you ask that question, I can go on when it comes to gay marriages, when it comes to abortions, when it comes to what's happening in our economy. <laughs> I can go on with it. But I'll tell you this. So the answer to you is, are we voting for Trump? No, but we're voting for the party that stands for the kingdom of God. And he just happened to be representing that particular party. Until next time, this is your sister Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls. Be blessed and catch that video where I do a lot more explaining. You can see that next. Leave your comments. Leave what you, what you feel. Leave how you think. But whatever you do, don't leave here feeling all hateful, angry, and bitter because somebody made a decision maybe other than you. And also make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll be back with more because it's getting heated and heated and heated. God bless you. Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video everywhere. God's Girls all over the world.